Welcome back to part two of uh, the guitar course in association with Sound Progression. Um, thanks again for tuning in and uh, listening to what it is uh, we uh, do here at Sound Progression with regards to uh, training you guys how to do stuff like vocals, uh, production, mixing, guitar coaching, that kind of stuff. So I'm Ben, as you probably gleaned from our last session. I'm a vocal coach, I'm a singer, songwriter, and uh, uh, today I'm gonna be your guitar tutor. So uh, have a listen to what it is I've got to tell you, and hopefully uh, we can uh, start you off on the right road. Now, last lesson, we went down the road of going uh, uh, with the down stroke, which is something like this. And if you've been practicing that, uh, it, 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 it comes across easy when I do it, but in order to keep the time, we have to pretty much be smack on the beat and, and do you know concentrate a fair bit. Uh, the way I like to look at it is it, 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 it's a fence and we've got to hit every single post. Each post is identically uh, the same equidistance from one another. Uh, we just have to make sure that every time we're hitting that post, we're bang on every single time. Now, one thing I didn't touch on last time was uh, the plectrum technique. What I wanted to do is, is when you're holding the plectrum, you can't be too tight, uh, you, you can't be too loose, so it's a bit of a Goldilocks thing going on here. And you, you've got to hold it just right. And if you look at the way I'm holding it here, it's a, just a natural extension of my, my fingers and my hand. It's almost like I've got one giant nail. Uh, so that's important. Uh, we don't want to be too tight here. I've seen people doing this. Yeah, okay, uh, I just want you to be nice and loose with it, but not too loose, because sometimes the plectrum will go in there and you're doing this, and trust me, it's a nightmare. I've been there a million times. So I just want to keep on uh, with the downstroke because I think that's going to be the most important part of the of the whole exercise here is, is just focusing on this down. I really want to, you to get on top of it because timing is all we've got. Uh, we can't play with time. We've got to be bang on every single time. Uh, so we're going to do the same exercise, but I wanted to do it faster, slower, all sorts of stuff. So let's start with this tempo. Again, four beats, four bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try it this tempo. And we'll go slower again. This time we go super quick. Now, I know it's a bit simple, and uh, I know that you, you're expecting me to teach you chords and all that kind of stuff, but that isn't gonna happen yet. Uh, I just primarily wanna focus on the engine, which is this part. Uh, once we've got this part down, we can then start doing all of the musical stuff, but we can't play the music uh, until we've got this in check. So. That's it for this lesson. I just wanted to keep going up and down in terms of tempo. We call it BPM, beats per minute. I wanted to do fast. And I wanted to do slow. Head on over to soundprogression.co.uk. You can get a little bit more information on what uh, the, the Sound Progression does as a company, how they can help you. A little bit more information on me, what it is I do, how you can see me face to face, and we can go through all this guitar stuff and, and really get uh, the meat off the bones with it. So get in touch, um, and I'll see you for session three. Cheers.